Hello all. In this video you will learn how to send a WhatsApp message with the Spring Boot and video. The prerequisite for this video is my previous video. In my previous video I discussed how to uh, set up a Twilio account and how to send the normal text messages uh, with the Twilio and Spring Boot. So uh, I will provide the link in the description. Please go and watch uh, that video before starting this video because I am using the same code uh, which you done for the uh, text messages. So let's uh, get started. So I'm open. I open Twilio document for the WhatsApp messages. Twilio API for the WhatsApp Java Quick Start. So I'm following this document. Here you can see the step by step approaches is and the right part is of course. Now the account setup is everything is completed already. So now let's click on this Twilio sandbox for WhatsApp. Creating the Twilio uh, sandbox for the uh, send the WhatsApp messages. Activate your sandbox. Agree and confirm. Now you can see on the screen a number is generated for the WhatsApp. So from this number only uh, we are we will send the WhatsApp messages to the users. So now just click the this uh, URL click here okay in order to receive the user's whatsapp messages from our number the user must type the message join list of to our number so here you can see in the document inviting other users to a sandbox so the user must need to click th uh, this URL so the, uh, that means uh, they will opt in for a whatsapp messages from our number so i will do one thing i will copy this entire url and i will send that url as a uh, normal text message to that uh, particular mobile number i mean uh, to any users so uh, this is the project i developed in my previous video to send sms so i am using that uh, number so I am using the my number only and the message here you can see that uh, URL and that uh, number the WhatsApp number so submit it will send a message to my number yeah I received that URL yeah I am opening that URL It will redirect to WhatsApp. As you can see on my screen, when it says join list of the user need to uh, click on send. As a response, you can see Twilio sandbox. And also stop. Uh, uh, you need to repair the stop uh, in order to stop receiving the message from that uh, sandbox. So now let's change the code. The same code um, is for this also, but uh, small changes. We need to append the WhatsApp before the from number and the to number. So this is the code uh, to send the normal text message to the number. Send SMS. The method name is the server in the SMS service dot Java. So I will append that WhatsApp uh, string before the two number and from number also yeah and uh, one more uh, one more thing we need to change in application dot uh, yml So in application dot uh, we need to change the from number because we get the new number uh, to send the WhatsApp message, right? So that number uh, we need to uh, we need to change. So type that number. Yeah, number. Now we launch our application. Now 
the same method is using uh, I'm using for the whatsapp message also so I'm typing my mobile number and the message yeah you can see the message and this is the response output from that method now let's check one more time yeah this message also received now it is working fine I will provide the everything uh, put in the link in the uh, description the change we did is in the application environment we changed that whatsapp number and um, in the method uh, we added a what string before the from number and the phone number also so that's the change we did to send the whatsapp messages hope you understand so I will do uh, more videos on WhatsApp communication. Thank you.